morning. Uh, my name is Kate Jones. Jones. I am the mission minister here at St. John's, and I welcome you this morning. I'm also on the outreach committee and the health committee and the new health committee. So, lots to do here at St. John's. Uh, we welcome any guests who are here this morning. I certainly love to have other people worship with us. Uh, some important facts are that there's a restroom over there. And there is a place for you to sign a book in the narthex, which is the room coming into the church. If you are here and you would like to have us contact you, please let us know. Uh, Pastor Jeff is always around. Or almost always. Um, we have Sunday school this morning. We will have the children go down after they have their lesson and their blessing. Uh, we have a, a collection that we're going to be doing for the first two weeks of December. If you remember last year, we helped Bethany home at Christmas time by collecting bed roots, so pillows and comforters and all kinds of things like that. Uh, rather than do that this year, what we're going to be doing is collecting $15 and $20 gift certificates um, and for Walmart or Amazon. It makes it much easier and they can get exactly what they want. So this little basket will be out in the narthex. So you come in on Sunday, you can put the envelope in it with your donation of gift cards, and we would truly appreciate that. And I know they would too. On the 6th of December, we're going to have a special program here, which is actually going to be very special. Um, it's being done by the women's group, but it's everyone is allowed and, and welcome to come. I know John's going to come. Um, it's with Georgine Borchett. Now, Georgine is an old friend of mine. She's from Mapadu. Georgine is a member of the Ukrainian church here. Her family, much of her family, has been in Ukraine the entire period of the war. Um, I was getting daily updates for a while in the beginning of the war when the horrible things were happening to her family. Um, so she will be speaking with us. She's going to be talking about uh, customs. Ukrainians have extremely rich customs around the holidays. And so she'll be talking to us about that, but I think we'll also have some time to talk to her about her family's experiences in Ukraine. Um, that is going to be on the 6th. That's going to be at 10 a.m. in the large Sunday school room. You are invited to come, male, female, young, old, bring friends. Um, I think it will be a very worthwhile time for us. Uh, Susan also wanted me to say that the total soup sale profit was $417. And there were many thanks to everyone, and hopefully we'll do another one which will make us all feel warm and comfy in the uh, winter. And everybody turn around and see who's coming. <laughs> Have some. Uh, good morning. Uh, as you notice, some of our decorations are up today uh, for the first Sunday in Advent. Uh, after service, we're going to be spending a little bit more time getting the rest of the sanctuary decorated. So, if anyone can stick around to help, we would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else this morning? No, I miss people. So, do you see anybody, Tracy? <laughs> All right, then let's ask Professor. Great to see you all again this morning. It's always great to see you all again. God is great. Can't get any better than that. Uh, announcements. I want to thank the board of health for those on the Facebook and YouTube who are <coughs> attending our service that way. It's great to have you. Wherever you may be, please say hello. Uh, uh, let us know you're there. We'd love to register your attendance and uh, and we hope that our service is uh, inspiring for all today. Uh, this coming Wednesday, we normally have our Bible study at 2 in the afternoon. And this Wednesday, uh, there is uh, a memorial service that's going to take place elsewhere at the time. And so uh, we're going we're to postpone it a week. December 7th. For those of you interested in resuming our study of Hebrew, December 7th, uh, 2 p.m., we will be back, back and, and running with that. And 
to uh, welcome from Florida, my older sister Kim visiting us today. She's so curious to sit with us that she's sitting with us now. Thank you. 
On the first Sunday of Advent, we light the candle and name it holy. Let us pray together the Advent prayer. God of all hope,
first reading is from Isaiah chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. The word that Isaiah son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of mountains, and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us go up the mountain of the Lord to the house of God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction in the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, <coughs> and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Our second reading is from Romans chapter 13, <clears throat> verses 11 through 14. Besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. The word of God for the people of God.
the children of the house, who would be loaded with their permission to come and sit right up here. Just for a few short minutes.
tell the story. A little girl named Jenna, Jenna, J A N A, was given part of her church's Christmas drum.
God, we thank you for your love that goes beyond that even our, our greatest understanding. We give thanks for it. We give thanks for our church. We give thanks for the people in our lives. All the gifts of life that you have bestowed upon us. And so may you bless these offerings to your good purposes and in fact bless us all to your good purposes to serve and make a difference on your behalf wherever you call us. Amen. You may be seated.
we thank you for for your love and presence in our lives. Thank you for moments like this when we were met when we go to you. For every day that we live, for every one of us, we are faced with the, the joys and the challenges, uh, issues of a personal nature, perhaps, issues of our world and, and so many concerns and worries. God wants us to know clearly what we can do about these things and what we put in your hands. We ask for your guidance for ourselves and every way in our lives to this world in which we live. We pray for those who are <coughs> who've been victims of violence as of late. We remember them in our prayers. Yes, for your comfort, uh, family members, and friends in particular. Thank you for the opportunity once again to prepare to meet Jesus at Christmas. And we, in the midst of difficulties and problems and pain, help us, Lord, to not forget the joy, the joy of living and the joy of knowing you. We raise you in prayer, those on our prayer list and many others, and thank you for your answers to our prayers that we have us hold. Through Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For not is the kingdom, our power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let's stand for our closing.
uh, we always want to know if there are prayer needs or anything that we can do to be of spiritual help in any way. And please go knowing Christ as your living hope. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance and his face to you always. Give me peace until we meet again. Amen. Yeah.